So one of the most shocking defeat in track and field in a long, long time took place today in the women's 100 meter finals at the Budapest World Championships. Shakir Richardson of the United States took down the Jamaicans in emphatic fashion. Now, this might not be shocking for some persons, but I'm sure that it's shocking for many or most Jamaicans. Because the truth be told, Jamaican athletes are known for the big moments, the big championships, when they come up against the big competitors, they are known for bringing their A games. But today, Shakir Richardson chased down Shelly and Fraser Price and of course the fast Sherika Jackson. Now what is so surprising about this race is that Shakir almost did not qualify because when she entered the final she was not one of the automatic qualifiers. She had to wait for the other persons to run to actually see if she qualified for the race. But the final was a very very different thing. Very different kettle of fish. Now Shakir was running from lane 9 I think and I think that gave her a very, very, very decent advantage. Everyone was to her left. So all she had to do was to focus on her lane and she'll be seeing everyone to her left. And that was the advantage that she got. Now, Sherika and Shelly and they were placed close to each other in the middle of the field. So somewhat they would not have been able to see Shakiri coming down the back straight from there. Now watching the race closely, you realize that Shakiri took over about the 85 meters mark. Sherika Jackson totally thought she had the race because she knew she had Shelly and Fraser Price covered, but she was not able to see what Shakiri was doing on the outside. And that's where Shakiri took the race from them. She was able to keep her high closely on them and she was able to track them down. But this is absolutely a big, big win for Shakiri Richardson because the fact that she almost did not make it into that final and to come back and to run this race and to run so fast 10.65 is extremely fast for Shakira Richards since her personal best and she would have equaled Sherika's personal best also so it's like there's this tussle between Sherika and Shakiri they they are tussling for that fifth place that fifth fastest athlete in the history of the game and we have to commend Shakira Richards for this Many persons like myself did not expect her to pull this off because she's known for choking up in the big competitions and she did absolutely that in the semi-final. Now, had she been closer to Shelian and Sherika, the outcome could have been very, very different because she would have definitely been feeling the pressure. But she was able to run almost pressure-free in her lane and she was able to be more relaxed and she executed perfectly no i'm almost sure that she surprised herself just her reaction is not the usual thing the usual flamboyant kind of celebration you would have seen the genuine tears the genuine joy and happiness and you would have seen the shock on her face that i actually did it i'm now the world champion so this thing that has been looming over Shakira richardson's head for such a long time has finally been lifted and um, now we will be able to see her run some of her best times. I think, I still think her best years are ahead of her. She can go faster than 10.65 and we are going to have a very, very wonderful time having Sherika Jackson and her competing at that level. But right now, it's just all about Shakira Richardson and we just want to say congratulations to her again. Jamaicans are left in mourning because many individuals were expecting Sherika Jackson to drop something super special. We were expecting her to go below 10.65, but unfortunately that was not the case. Now looking at the race, I think Sherika somewhat choked up in the final. She was just pushing too hard to get ahead and I think her form somewhat broke down and she was not able to execute properly. And I'm not taking anything away from what Shakira Richardson did because she did extremely well. But I think this is one of the problems why Sherika did not go faster than 1072. Because of course Sherika is a faster athlete than 1072. Her PB is 1065 and I think she has the potential to even go faster than 1065. And I personally think Sherika was looking for a faster time than 1065. But unfortunately, that was not going to be the case this time. But the 200 meters is coming up. 
and I hope that she can have some retribution and she can deliver herself from that one but I truly believe that one of the reasons why Sharika and maybe Shelly lost the race is because Shakiri had that outside advantage and unfortunately they were not able to properly track her I think that Sherika Jackson was totally convinced that she had the race under lockdown I think she thought she covered the entire field and was just waiting on the moment to celebrate that 100 meter victory but that was not going to be the case this time around better luck next time Sherika Jackson but we are still looking forward to see what she's going to do in the 200 meters